In today's business spotlight, we're checking in with White Cottage Rental. We've got Kathy Guy with us to tell us more. So thanks for joining us this morning, Kathy. Hello, Holly. Thank you for having us. Okay, so first of all, let's talk more. Do you have a little bit of history of White Cottage and like what kind of services you offer? Yes. Um, right now, I, I am one of six siblings that own White Cottage. The original owner was Dick Unger. Uh, the idea of the rental business came when he had neighbors, friends that came to his house and wanted to borrow his tools, borrow his trailer. And he did that for a long time. And then he decided, no, I'm going to start charging him a dollar a day for that. <laughs> so he, the idea of the rental business then came to him. Um, so he decided to open a tool and trailer rental business. And he said that at that time, to his knowledge, there wasn't another rental business in Ohio. Um, by that time, our father, Dick George, um, and Dick Unger knew each other. They'd met, had been friends for a while. And Dick was always good at financing. He was good at um, good ideas. But our father, uh, Dick George, he could rent things. He could fix about anything. He could um, build it, fix it, maintain it. So that's exactly what Dick needed. So they made a good pair, and he asked him to come to work for him. So they started their business first on West Street here in Lima in the 1950s. Um, in about fifth, around 56, 57, they moved to Elida Road. And at that time, they were only one of three other businesses out there. So that's really built up over the years. Started with tools, but I mean, now what kind of things do you offer to rent? Well, tools, trailers, we, we still maintain everything that we originally rent for the homeowner. Um, it, it, we've moved on more to large equipment. In the 1970s, my father took the business, uh, bought the business from Dick Unger. And so um, over the years, practically every tool you can imagine, a trailer has been rented there and still is um, for homeowners or contractors alike. Their motto was, you name it, we rent it. If we have a got it, we'll get it. And that's basically what they did. The customers would call. They would um, tell them what they need. And if there was enough demand, then they would buy that piece of equipment and start running it. But through the years, the customers' needs have changed. Most people own their own small tools. And uh, so if it's for a one-time use, something that you don't want to store, something you don't want to buy, it's still a cost effective to come to White Cottage to rent what you might need. Right, yeah. Um, uh, is there something that's like the most popular thing that gets rented from yeah, you, you think? A very, a very large part of our business right now is tables and chairs. Mm -hmm. We have several different types of tables that we rent. We have four different types of chairs that we rent. And we can seat um, over 10,000 people. So we, we have many items in the party area that include chafing dishes, roasters, grills, um, staging, uh, about anything you might want for parties. Uh, we also supply our customers with linens if they want. Wow, and okay, so what do you think then do you guys have that like gets rented the least that you're like, people, I have this, I can help you out here. Well, um, actually, I, I can't think of any single item that that would uh, apply to. Um, we, we have just, we're a general line. We, we, we used to rent trucks. Now we rent trailers. We rent, um, plumbing equipment, uh, electrical equipment, all, all sorts of things. So there isn't too much that we haven't handled through the years and can pretty much still deliver to our customers. Um, we have during the winter months, uh, the, the rental business is slow. So, uh, our father had started Christmas trees, and um, when he originally started hauling those, they were coming from Canada where they hand-loaded them, and he made numerous trips. The first year that they rented uh, or sold Christmas trees, they sold 40. Um, at one time, we were selling 6,000 in this area and surrounding areas for um numerous different places they did they just didn't have the retail or the outlets that they have now right so this this month is one of our big biggest busiest months of the year 
Wow. Some fascinating stuff. It is so neat to learn more about White Cottage Rental. Thank you, Kathy, for joining us today. Thank you. All right. Don't go away. First edition continues in a moment.